Hey guys, it's Misty and I am backstage at Lips. We just finished our dirty show and I'm about to hit home. On Saturdays we do three shows and I'm exhausted. I know it's Saturday, it literally is Saturday right now and I'm the Saturdays of the week and typically I would record on Wednesday and then post on Saturday morning before I start my madness. <clears throat> Hopefully I'm going to get home now and edit this and post it before the Counter Springs posts her Sunday vlog so it's still in order, but I'm definitely going to be posting on Sunday. Um, if you are a fan, if you're one of my lashes, um, and if you believe in any type of meditation or spirituality or anything, just say a prayer for me or light a candle for me. I, I, nothing has happened. I mean, there's been no tragedies, but in the last two months, I've really, really been beyond depressed. I don't know, I'm super unmotivated, I'm un... Like, my phone stayed on silent for the last two months, and I just can't function. Like, I haven't cleaned my house, I haven't done laundry, my drag room is a disaster, and I've officially decided today that I'm gonna shit or get off the pot and just fucking deal with it. Tomorrow, um, I have a show, but Monday is going to be my don't do anything but clean day. Get off the couch, get out of bed. Like, literally, I'm in bed until I have to go to work, and then I go home and I get in bed. I don't know if it's that time of year. I don't even know why I'm telling you. I'll probably edit this out. But anyways, um, I apologize, because I got home on Wednesday night, and I was like, ugh, I just don't want to do a video. And I'm sorry, because I really haven't been posting videos lately, but I just haven't been feeling well, I guess. Just depressed and unmotivated is probably a better word. Um, but tonight I was thinking about the topic and I was like, you know, I should have talked about it and I'm going to. The tonight's topic, I don't know whose topic it was, um, I think it might be Pedro's, but it's, oh no, it's, it's Christina Marquez's, I think. Um, what are your three favorite childhood memories? And I think with me being depressed and thinking back on my childhood, I was like, I'm not doing this week's video. Um, I don't have a lot of good childhood memories. I mean, I grew up gay, very flamboyant, the oldest of seven kids, in an extremely poor family. Um, if people weren't making fun of me for being girly and feminine, they were making fun of me for being poor and wearing hand-me-down clothes from people I don't even know at thrift stores or neighbors, garage sales, and um, it was bad. I grew up in the church and I always felt that God hated me and that the church hated me. So my life, really, I have a bad childhood. I mean, looking back, I do have fond memories. I love my brothers and sisters. Um, there's seven of us. We grew up very, very, very close. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, but I think that my favorite childhood memories are church camp. Like when I could literally leave home and go away for the summer and make new friends and it was an amazing time granted i knew i was gay and i was very in the closet and i kept um praying that god would deliver me and you know unspoken prayer requests and but i i was a church camp counselor i went to church camp for i think four summers and then i became a church camp counselor for seven summers like i really really loved it i think that might be my favorite childhood memory and i also remember um my parents when we grew up we were so so poor like we would have pancakes for every meal for like two months or oatmeal for every meal for two months and it was just bad and I remember that, like um, the only time I could ever have McDonald's or fast food or eating out was if I was somebody else somebody else's family um, or every once in a while for like my mom's birthday or if she got some type of bonus or whatever we would go to Ponderosa <laughs> an all-you-can-eat buffet. And I remember my mom going, okay, everyone get seconds, everyone get thirds. And we're like, mom, we're full. She's like, go back and get another plate. This is expensive food. Um, I guess that's an okay memory, but church camp would be my favorite memory. Um, and then every once in a while, like every other summer, we would get passes, I guess government welfare passes to the public beach or the public um, pool where we lived it didn't have a beach in Florida we had beaches um, but we would get summer passes to the pool and I love that my mom would take um, like Wonder Bread and make you know 20 sandwiches and put them in a loaf of bread and but peanut butter and jelly or whatever and we would go to the beach and spend or the pool I'm so used to saying beach now and we would spend the whole day at the beach and I pool and I really really loved that 
Um, and that was before I became on the swim team. And I became a swimmer. Um, I was on the swim team for seven years, all through um, middle school and high school. And in college, I even took scuba diving. Hi, you want to say hi to the camera? Oh my god, let me put some hair. You have no hair. <laughs> I'm doing a Queens of the Week vlog. Oh my god, I want to be part of it. I'm at work at Lips. And this is my friend Nicole. Oh my god, I'm not even ready. Oh my god, don't tell anyone. <laughs> What's your favorite um, childhood memory? My favorite childhood memory? Like from holidays or just anything in general? Just childhood memory. Um, my father used to take me to this place called Inverary. Have you heard of that? Where it's like, it looks like it's the jungle or the rainforest. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and like we would go through there. It was almost like being in Jurassic Park. And I was like five years old. So, you know, to a little kid, it's like, wow, it's the jungle. So that, I think that's my best memory when I was a little kid. Oh, Nicole had a cool family. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Yours beat you senseless and then threw you down the stairs. And yeah. Right? It was With the Bible. It was all religious. <laughs> <laughs> I suffered a lot of biblical abuse. She did. Get she healed. Did. <laughs> like that movie saved. The Bible is not a weapon. The power of Christ compels you. Yeah. <laughs> like um, the exorcist. So that's my first two. I can't really think of any other um, childhood memories. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. Was it holidays or times you spent with your Oh yeah, siblings? that's a good one. Okay, so um, many years after I was a certain age, my family was so poor, that it was seven kids, that they finally told us, look, Santa Claus isn't real, you're not getting anything for Christmas. And I remember one year, the church, and it wasn't even my dad's church, it was like another church that found out there was like poor people with seven kids, um, came knocking on our door, or my dad answered it, and there was like a Thanksgiving dinner, like all kinds of stuff, but it was Christmas, but they had like turkey, and mashed potatoes, and stuffing, and casseroles, and all kinds of stuff and they even had all the kids clothes and toys and back to school supplies and I think that was like my favorite Christmas because we had a bunch of stuff Wow. Yeah, and that was like awesome but I remember my dad being mortally embarrassed like he I, I think that probably is why I'm so into charity now because my dad didn't want to accept it, but we already saw, of course, all seven kids running in the door. Who's at the door? And like these, they weren't nuns, but these church ladies were, you know, with toys and presents. And yes, by the way, dot com, Miss Kiyas is probably the most giving person that I've ever met. And it kind of makes me sick because she's involved in every charity and everything <laughs> around here. And everybody loves her and I hate you for it. Uh, but we love you, uh, even though I hate you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've definitely reciprocated charity when I needed it when I was a kid. So, um, reciprocated. reciprocated. I've been on the receiving end because I'm a bottom and I like to receive things. But, um, I like to give too. So, I think that's probably my third favorite childhood memory is receiving blessings from Christmas angels. You know, since I knew that Christmas Santa Claus wasn't real. Yeah. I don't know. But that's Misty Eyes with Queens of the Week, and those are my three childhood favorite memories. And that was Nicole Hollywell. Loving you is easy. <laughs>